Hello everybody, welcome Bubble here, and today we're going to be looking at 5 things that need to be updated in the new season update in 20 days. What can we expect? What can we hope for? I don't know, we're going to be playing a game and jump straight into it, so I'll see you all in one second. Alright, here we are in the game, and we're going to go Kramer at bottom path, just so it's the most casual to talk through for us. And our very first suggestion for the new season that probably should be uh, coming up is... Probably my most requested. These aren't ranked in order by any means, but this first one is definitely one that I want the most. And I think a lot of people would really like and keep the game alive. And that is going to be something so many other MOBAs have in some regard. And that is going to be shiny skins for our Pokemon. Shiny skins for our Pokemon, I think, are going to be the biggest addition if they added them in. So there, you see uh, MOBAs like Smite. Right, Smite. You master a god to level 10, you know, 10 mastery, and you get their diamond skin. It's something to work for for every, every, you know, every god you had in that game. Or in this case, Pokemon shiny skins. Um, you see it in a bunch of different games. There's so many different ways you could go about it as well. Um, like, let's, you can even look at uh, Black Ops 2. They got their gold guns, their diamond guns for getting all those gold. It's something the player base could work towards and whether you want to go the smite route and say hey if you play this Pokemon for so long you get mastery levels up and bam you could unlock their shiny skin or you can do it like um, Todd does in those types of games where you have objectives to complete and then once you complete all the objectives for this uh, Pokemon then bam you'll have a chance to unlock their shiny skin or something along the signs. Um, I don't think that they should just add them in, like, a shiny skin for everyone, and then boom, you have to buy it, though. That, you know, that doesn't keep player base. Player base, you want them to play the game, have a reason to play their favorite Pokemon, play every Pokemon. And that's the way you keep people coming, coming back for more, and playing the game. So I feel like that is the number one case, uh, they should add. Shiny Pokemon, it would just be so cool to see a little orange cram running around here knowing, hey, you know, he mastered that Pokemon. And that could be something to work for. That I'd love to see in the new season. And I'm pretty sure everyone would love to see those. I don't see why they haven't added them in yet. But that should be the number one thing added in my opinion. Our next one is... Um, I don't think it's as necessary. But it's definitely going to add motivation to the game. For right now, yeah, there is motivation to rank up. Like, oh, if you want to be top 100, top 1000, you know. It's, anything really works. And But what is really the, the reason for ranking up? You don't get anything besides 20,000 tickets. And that's about all you get. Uh, there's nothing else added besides that. And I think we need more ranking rewards. Again, you see games like, I don't know, let's say Rocket League. If any of you play Rocket League, um, per rank you get, let's say everyone gets the same wheels on your car. But you have different colors or different versions of them based on your rank. Like, okay, you got the wheel, but you're the lowest rank, so it's bronze or brown. And the highest is purple, because that's like the highest ranking color. They could do something as simple as that, where everyone gets an outfit, where everyone gets some sort of skin on a Pokemon, or something of a sort. And with that, no one's necessarily missing out on the rewards. You'll be missing out on the color, but and then you could just get it next season, so you don't really have to worry about not getting it. Because you'll get it as long as you rank. It just you'll get the one according to your rank. So it gives people more of a purpose to rank up, get out of veteran, get to get to masters, and get, I don't know, like a purple or a white set or something. Because I did release that one outfit for getting to like veteran, but it's one color for all. There's no real reason to go past veteran because you get the same thing. At least I think it was veteran rank, you get it. Um, besides that, you just get tickets. So they do need to add some sort of reward like that, even if it's just a sticker, you know, give us something. I, I would want it to be cooler than a sticker, obviously, but... That's just a suggestion. And that will be all for that tip. And on to the third tip. The third one is going to be... Not tip. <laughs> I don't know why I said tip. It's not a tip video. Not at all. That's coming soon. But not yet. The next idea for a new season will have to be the matchmaking. This one has been spun around so many different times. You just kind of... You hear over and over again. In my honest opinion, the matchmaking has gotten loads better than when the game first started. Last season... No. Even the last update, matchmaking was so bad. I would get full games veteran rank, mat, uh, ultra rank. There was never a full game of Masters. So I do have to say, this season has changed a lot of things for matchmaking. Every game I get now is a full Master rank game, uh, almost no exceptions. If I ever get an ultra 
or a veteran in my rank, it's because a master rank brought them in with them. And you can't necessarily blame the matchmaking for that, because they'd rather bring them into a master rank than a veteran game and, you know, have the master with them destroy everyone. Um, yeah, I wish it would, like, match it out a little more evenly, but hey, that's, that's what has to happen. It's gotten loads better, but you still get those games where, you know, it's just not fair. Um, I guess the biggest way to put this is, I know this is a lot ranking up. Uh, like a few days ago, I was in the low 1300s. I wasn't playing that much, but the last four days through our streams, which you guys should definitely check out, we do it around 6, 7 p.m. every day recently. Um, and we've ranked up to, you know, the 1700s now. We're making our way up. And the thing I've noticed with ranking, I inject button there, whoops, is, well, I'm getting worse teammates as I rank up. It's because it's compensating my rank for other people's ranks. If that makes sense. Let's say I have a 1700 and my teammate has an 800, right? He's just been on a losing streak. It's going to use me to even out that to make the other teams total. I'm not going to go too into that in this video. Uh, if you want a big in uh, explanation for this video, for this topic, I could make a video on it itself. Or, I mean, I'm just going to be honest. Crashy has a really good video on it. If you want to go check out Crashy, he's a Pokemon Unite. Contenter. He has a whole video explaining the matchmaking system and how he's noticed it. Uh, so I go check that one out for the full details on the matchmaking. That will be our third suggestion for the new rank. Is hey, better matchmaking. Any bit helps. And that brings us to our fourth one, which is just to do with their updates. Um, last time they did this. Well, I guess I'll say what it is. It is new items new items and buffs and nerfs on items which they don't seem to do unless it's a shadow buff which is like a one second like they did with float stone which isn't too much of a deal but when they add new items in this completely changes the meta as you saw when they added razor claw weakness policy it was completely changed the game there's so many pokemon got more viability there were huge items and people picked them up instantly and started playing them and it just completely changes the meta. Right now, there's not too many builds you could really experiment and have fun with. We all have our Focus Band, Buddy Barrier, Score Shield, something along those lines. Raise your clef, you're going crits, Muscle Band. It's all the same stuff over and over again, just recycled. I think they should add more items, add some buffs and nerfs, uh, depending on, you know, how much. I feel like they should nerf the Buddy Barrier Shield, if I'm being honest. Other than that, you know, there's just so many things they could tweak around there. I, I'll make an whole video on items someday to see you know what they could do with it but that is one suggestion they could definitely change in the new uh in the new season new season new items i think that would be huge for the meta because the meta is getting a little stale the way it is now and that will be all for our items so our fifth and final thing that we'll have to talk about today is more updates more updates more pokemon more everything because as of right now it's been kind of stale ever since Dragonite came out. Nothing's happened. No huge patch notes. No one really got destroyed. They nerfed Tarina, but un unnoticeably, honestly. Tarina's still absolutely busted. And nothing's changed. The meta has stayed the same. Like, over and over. It's like the same games almost. And I think they need to have more patch notes more often. Just to kind of, you know, switch it up. They need to switch these metas around. Lucario getting knocked out of meta when Trina um, was released helped a lot. It switched a lot of things up, but they need to add more. There needs to be more updates, new items, more people need to get buffed, nerfed. Do justice for our little Cram. Get Cram buffed up, please. Please, guys. Cram needs a buff. Not a nerf. Not another nerf. Please don't kill our little boy anymore. It's more stuff like that needs to happen more consistently to keep the game fresh and alive for new players. Again, there's so many more tips that could happen from this, but these are just a few that I noticed right off the top of my head, honestly. Um, I didn't have to think hard at all to think of these. I think everyone's thinking it. We just need more reason to play. And those are my five tips for this video. These will help you know players come back to the game, start playing for more purpose. Um, I just think it would really help the game live longer than it is. I'm not saying the game's dying the way it is. I love this game. I love the gameplay. And I'm taking it seriously to get, you know, get back in the top rank. Especially when this new season drops. I'm getting way more into it again. And I would like everyone to be more into it as well. Um, you know, hopefully we could get these ideas around. Especially that Chinese skin one, man. I love going for mastery ranks. And uh, back when I played Smite, I love getting, you know, everyone mastered. It was fun. 
and that could really bring the community together, trying to try out new Pokemon. Hey, Pokemon Unite, you know, the company. It might even get people to, you know, buy more Pokemon if they want all the shiny skins. So that's the other things to look at. So again, if you agreed with any of these five tips, or you want more tips, because I could think of many, many more, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below if you want more videos like this, because I'm down to do some tips videos like I accidentally slipped up and said a few times, along with other tip. Uh, <laughs> see, I said tips again. No, tips, because, you know, it's such a big, big thing to do, tips and tricks, but now uh, that, and then we'll also be doing uh, more, like, another top five things to change. But if you guys want to see that, like I said, comment down below, and I'll see you all next time with some more suggestions for the new season. And I'll see you all next time. Bubble out. How did I win that game? I have no idea. That, <laughs> last time I saw we were really struggling. What happened?